New guidance for wearing masks outdoors when the president is expected to announce changes. Plus, California losing a U.S. House seat for the first time. What it means for the state and the future of federal funding. And our top story, one of Monterey County's biggest high school districts welcoming students back to the classroom today. An inside look at what to expect. Coverage you can count on. This is KSBW Action News 8. Our sunrise time is 6 a.m. Good Tuesday morning and thanks for joining us. I'm Brittany Nielsen. And I'm Lauren Seaver and we'll get to that top story in just a moment. But first, quick check of our weather with meteorologist Art Jarrett. Well, good morning to you both. We've gone from mostly cloudy skies to clearing skies right through the last few hours. We are clear to partly cloudy right now with middle 30s, widespread 40s to around 51 degrees, mountain fog as well. Chilly conditions expected in the mid-morning hours. Clearing skies continue getting to mostly sunny skies in the afternoon or local temperatures will be in the mild. We're looking at widespread 60s to 74 degrees. More about this in six minutes. All right, thank you. Our top story this morning, one of Monterey County's largest high school districts welcoming students back to the classroom today. After being closed for more than a year, the Salinas Union High School District will welcome back all grades. Action News 8 reporter Lonnie Latang has more on what this first day back will look like. And count on with Brittany Nielsen, Lauren Seaver, traffic with Jacqueline Dunn, and meteorologist Art Jarrett. This is KSBW Action News 8. Sunrise time now 614, a crane tipping over into the roof of a Southern California home. Homeowners were inside at the time. Nobody was hurt. Authorities say the crane was at that home to install columns for a solar field in the backyard when it tipped over. They're not sure of the exact cause. Cal OSHA investigators.